Hello, I'm standing in front of the three contained vessels by Koji Hatakiyama, an artist that we have represented since 2000. He uses traditional bronze casting techniques, which means that uh, molten metal is poured into a mould. Each one of these pieces is named after the faces that are on the pieces. So this is an eight-face vessel, and these two are six-face vessels. So each one of these faces, and that's what it's named after. They're also tied in with the Japanese tea ceremony, but we recognise them as vessels and sculptural works. The surfaces on, on these bronze sculptures take months to make. Um, sometimes they're buried in sand. He will use miso paste and vinegar to build up these surfaces. And the region that he comes from in Japan is the Toyama Prefecture, which is um, a specialist area in bronze since the 1600s. He's surrounded by the mountains. And these abstract patterns on the front that are built up with patination over months, um, they represent the mountains. Sometimes they represent the fire and, and elements um, around him, but he feels that he couldn't be anything else other than an artist working, working in bronze. The inside are typically made, decorated in gold leaf. And this is a Buddhist element of, of his work because in, in Japan there can be no darkness. They have a glorious weight to them. They're sumptuous objects. This is a fantastic, really large example, but whether it's a large example or a small example, these are just beautifully made objects and they're gorgeous to look at. They're, they're scholarly objects. They resonate wherever they, wherever they sit and they're just fantastic examples of Japanese craftsmanship.